All right, it is Thursday, and that means it's time to take your weather question to Ellen. This week's question comes from our executive producer, Luke's daughter, one of our favorite people, Kenley. She wants to know why water turns white when the waves break. That's a good question. Well, to answer this question, I think we need to just start at the beginning. Why does anything look like anything to us? Well, it all has to do with white light and what happens to it when it hits an object. So let's start with an air molecule for starters. Air molecules are really special. As white light hits them, they tend to scatter color. But when it comes to air molecules, like the sky, we tend to see it scatter blue more effectively. So let's talk about the sky. That's something that, again, looks blue, right? Blue sky has a lot of air molecules, and so we have the white light coming down from the sun. It scatters blue colors more effectively, so the sky in general looks blue. Well, water also looks blue, right? Same sort of thing is happening. Those same molecules made of a similar composition tend to scatter blue light more effectively. If there's any algae or dirt in the water, then it scatters blue and green. But water is darker for us, right? Because water molecules are more condensed than air molecules. All right, finally, why do we have crashing waves appear white? We have the base of the water, which looks darker, also usually blue or gray or green, depending. But that white part, the top of the wave, that's what happens when it crests and it starts to wrap in air or bubbles. The air and the bubbles scatter as white, giving the waves that two-tone appearance.